Hey and welcome to part 14. Before we continue building the cart I just want to go to the account page and make a few things there. So first we're going to set up the HTML for the account page. I want the account page also to be in the core app so if I just find that here core and then templates and then in there I create a new file called myaccount.html. First I can make a copy of a little bit of the other HTML here. So I can copy this and paste it, rename this to my account and then I'm going to use almost all of these classes. I can remove the flex because I don't need it here but p6 can be there and then in here I want the title so h1 class mb-5 text three times xl my account. And before I add anything more here I just want to close this and also close the end block like that. And now we can set up the view and the URL for this just so that you know that everything is working. So go to views.py and then we can create a new view here. You can actually remove this login old because this is not anything we use anymore. So def my account pass in the request parameter. And I also want to make this login required so that if you go to this page without being authenticated you will get an error. So we add the login decorator, login required. Then you can see here that I get an error because this is not imported. So I can go up to the top here from decorators import login required. So then Django will fix that for us. And then here I can just say return render request and then the template which is core slash my account dot html and save. So let's also import this to the urls.py and then we can add it here below the login path my account slash my account is the name of the view we are going to use. Now we set a name my account. So then we just need to import this together with other views and save. And that to make it possible to go to this view I want to edit the base.html and instead of going to the login here we go to my account and save. So if I now go back here again refresh if I now click this, I'll be sent to the login page because I'm not logged in right now. But if I now try to click there, it says my account. Perfect. So then we can continue adding some HTML here. I actually want the max width to be six, set to 6 times XL. So it's a little bit wider. And then at the top here, I want to show some information about the user. So I need to add a div class mb-6 so we get some space below this div strong here I want to show the name and then we can just say request.user.get full name and then Django will fix that for us and strong username request.user.username and one last one for the email, email, like that. So request.user.email, oops, like that. So if I save now, go back and refresh, you'll see that it's much wider and we can see the information about the user. Below here, I want to show a list of orders. So I will first add an HR for some separation. And then I add a new div which will wrap the orders. And then here I add the title h2 class my my-6 so get space above and below this one text xl my orders. And then I want to hard code one order so we can see what it will look like when it's finished. So div class and then width should be set to full and mb-6 so in case we have multiple orders this will have space between them padding should be set to 6 
you should have a flex and a flex wrap and background gray 100 and rounded dash XL so we have round corners on the orders and then I want to have uh, the order ID here div class mb-6 flex and justify between and then here I say a href this can be empty for now and in here I say order id colon one so we can go and see what this looks like here you have this order and for each of the orders this user has it will be listed here and then below here I want to list the products or the items from the order so add a new div class mb6 and set the width to be full and then I want to have a div wrap for each of the products so div oops div class product just so I know that this class is for that margin bottom 6 flex and padding right can be 6 as well and then here I want the product image so a href should also be able to click the product image class they should fill out one sorry w-1 slash fourth of this div and then in here an image img class hover colon shadow dash lg so you have some shadow when you hover with with the mouse and rounded xl i don't have an image right now so i can just say a source one jpeg so we have something there and then next to this one i want to show information about the product so div class width should be set to three slash fourth so it fills out the rest of this and it should also have some more classes here padding left six so we have some space between the image and the information and then in here i need one more div for the product name and the price so div class so this needs to be a flex container and justify between and the justify between takes two elements and put space between them two or more and then i want the element for the title a href can be empty class text lg and then the product name product name and here i also want the price so p class mb-6 so we get space below this padding top one and text gray 400 and here just add a random price for now and save so if you go back now you'll see that you have the image here and then the product name and the price and then below here i want to show the quantity of how many we have ordered so hr to separate this a little bit div class margin top six we get space up to this one and i want this to be yes that's everything we need there and then just quantity colon one like that so let's just try to duplicate this so we can have a few more products save refresh so this is what it will look like and then below here i want to show the total price and the date for the order so below this product actually below this div which is the wrapper for the width full here add a div and inside there a p class text lg and then the date like that and then below there i want to show the total price so paragraph text lg for this as well and then just total dollar 199 and refresh so this is what each of the different orders will look like so now we have the HTML for my account and I can go to my to the to-do list and set the task to done. I already did this in the base.html so I can just set this to done. Before I continue I just want to say thanks to all of my patrons. If you too want to support me you will find a link in the description below. 
and then I want to make it possible to edit the account. So I want to make it possible to click edit here so we can edit information about the user. So we can begin by duplicating this view. Sorry, not this one, but the one in core. There. So let's just make a copy of this, paste it and say edit my account and edit my account and save. So now we have the view. You can also import this to the URLs. Edit my account and make a copy of this. My account slash edit. Edit my account and edit my account and save. So then I can make a copy of a little bit of this. I can take all the way down there. Create a new file and save it in the templates core folder as edit my account.html. Edit account and edit account and block and save. So then I just want to add the button on the my account. If I add a new break line here. Then a href and use the URL function to go to edit my account. Edit. So if I go back there now, refresh, I should be able to click this and be sent to edit my account. Perfect. And then here I just want to show a list of fields for the first name, last name, username and email. So I can go to edit my account. And then add a form here, form, set the method to be post, action is the page we are on. And class space dash y3, so it has space between each of the elements in this list of, of uh, input fields. So add a new div for each of the fields, label first name, and then input name first name. I can set the value to request.user.firstName and I can set the type to be text and the class can be with full margin top 2 so a space up to the label py4 so we have some space inside the, in the input field px6 background can be white and I also want to add a rounder, co rounded corners here as well like that so if I save refresh you'll see this actually I think the input field should be gray and not white so gray dash 100 refresh yes much better so then I can make a copy of this div rename first name to last name and then the same with the first name down here both of these should be last name so then we have one for the last name as well and then I want one for the username and one for the email so paste this twice and then username name is username request at user dot username and the bottom one is email email sorry N name is email request at user dot email and the text here is email so we get some validation in the browser automatically and then below here I want to show a button so div button class py-4 px6 so it's similar to the input fields rounded dash xl text can be white and then bg purple 500 submit and save so refresh and there we have the form great so now that we have the html for that we can go back to the to-do list and set this to done and then we need to imp implement the functionality for this inside the view where we need to get the information from the form and to know that the form has been submitted, we can say if request 
dot method equals post then we can get the information there so first name equals request dot post dot get first name and we need for the last name the username and the email as well so remove this as a last name and then this can be username and email and then below here we can store this by saying to make it a little bit easier we can say user equals request dot user and then user dot first name equals first name user dot last name equals last name user dot email equals email user dot username equals username and user dot save and when that's done we can redirect the user back to my account so return redirect my account so now this just reference the name we use there but you can see that here that we multiply us a little bit so let's just remove this paste it there same with this and this oops there and reinduce the e email so now this is a little bit shorter great so then we actually now have possibility to edit my account so we can test this code with submit okay i got the csrf token missing and that's in my account.html we need to add the csrf token here so let's go back again submit yes and now this was changed Perfect. Let's also switch out this with the button so it looks a little bit better. I can copy the HTML from this and go back to my account, add the class to the edit, like that, and also maybe margin top four. Whoops, I need to add an inline block here since this is an anchor tag. So save. Great. So then I can go to the to-do list and set the last task to done. And that was it for this part. In the next part we're going to continue building the cart and make it possible to show the real products there and also increment and decrement and similar. So see you in the next part.